And you need some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted. Make sure to check out my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and the most reliable coins on the market right now. Make sure to head over to Buy Madden Coins and use code Poodle at checkout for 20% off your order. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. Today is a pretty important Ultimate Legend day. We got a guy that I've been waiting for for quite a while. I'm a little bit late. I woke up late. Sorry about that. Of course, I've been waiting months for this guy, Lawrence Taylor, one of the best Giants players in the history of the G-Men, and of course, I wake up late today. I'm, it's just, it just all adds up that way, because that's how it is. 85 overall, Jermaine Ifedi, that's actually pretty cool. On a set of switchback, I'll take that. But let's head on over in just a second, check everything out. I'm gonna be picking up Lawrence Taylor, probably actually right now, first thing in this video, so let's go over there first. See how much we need for everything. Let's pick up some training, because I know we're gonna need some training, so let's quick sell some stuff in the beginning over here that we can, so like Tyron Smith, and let's quick sell Larry Warford. That should be more than enough trans. 38,000 training. More than enough right there. Now, guys, before we get into this, make sure you're down below. Hit that subscribe button. Turn the notification bell, boys. Come join the family. Make sure to have a comment down below what you guys think of any of these new Ultimate Legends. And who will you be picking up? And, of course, at the end, we'll be ranking them as we always do on who I will be picking up and who's worth it for me. Now, let's go into Lawrence Taylor. Let's upgrade him. 23,000. Easy, easy upgrade right there. Tier 11. Let's toss a power pass. I'm super hyped for this, guys. Been waiting for this Lawrence Taylor all year. We got 99 Lawrence Taylor. He gets a fourth ability slot. Now, what should I put on him? Okay, so finesse specialist difference. Edge threat. I don't know exactly what to put on this guy just yet. To be honest with you guys, 99 overall pass rusher. Not entirely sure. I do like inside stuff, but that does not work too well for an outside guy for me. I think that's better off for an inside guy. So, my opinion, maybe, maybe run stopper could be good because that will stop the outside zone. So, that could be really good. But let's go check out this Lawrence Taylor card in general because obviously we still haven't powered up anyways. Does he get anything else here? He does get stop with Force 100, obviously, which he's had for quite a while. Although, I don't know if that's what I'd go with. Fearmonger, Unstoppable Force, Momentum Shift. That's actually pretty cool. And then, let's see. Let's go down to him. Let's go check him out on the squad. Definitely going to be pretty glitchy, guys. Lawrence Taylor is no joke. He's no joke. He now His 94 overall still performs me to this day. Like, he still makes plays happen. And... It's pretty surprising because he's 94. Like, that's how good he's, he was. When he was first made, that's how good he was. It kind of stands to speak like Mahomes. How, like, Mahomes has been in the game for now, like, three or four months. Maybe, maybe three months. And he's still probably, like, the best quarterback in the game minus golden tickets because he's just that good. So, let's see. Let's go to X here and see if we can compare him to someone else. Okay, so Lawrence Taylor, pretty solid. Powered up, chemmed up. We obviously will check him out uh, based on the second one. 95 speed. So, first off, 95 speed. That's, that's insane. That's absolutely insane for outside linebacker. He can actually be used if you really wanted him to be. Acceleration 98. Guys, if he gets a block shed, he's chasing your quarterback down. More than likely. 92 strength. Amazing. 95 tackle. Amazing. 94 play rec. Amazing. 96 block shed. Amazing. 99 power move and 99 finesse move. He is going to be the ultimate run stopping pass rushing speed combo. More, more than not the, uh, the pass rushing combo. But, but, to begin with, even without... The pass rushing combo, he's still a great block shedder. So don't think like he's not a great run stopper. I'm just saying he only's a 96, so I can't say he's the best one, but trust me, he's right down. Let's go check the block for their prices, see who's up, and see how much all these guys cost. I'm pretty excited. Like, obviously, I use my power pass on Lawrence Taylor, which means I cannot use it on Randy Moss anymore, which means I'm going to have to buy Randy Moss, but that's that's more than okay. He honestly, I think he's down to like 600k at this point, so not too bad, to be quite honest with you guys. I can afford that right now. I just don't want to have to pay for the brand new... Um, the brand new Lawrence Taylor. I know that's going to be crazy, crazy expensive. And I was not about that life right now to pay over a million coins for him. So I figured, use a power pass. I've been saving it for a moment just like this. And I don't know why I always think Ultimate Legends isn't up here when it when it clearly is. Um, there we go. So, I us you out these guys' prices. Let's go. So first, we're going to start off with, before we go to Lawrence Taylor, start off with the new one. Sweetness, Walter Payton. Guys, this running back looks absolutely insane. Might have to scoop this guy up as soon as possible. He might be the new best running back in Madden 20. So let's compare him to Saquon Barkley when we do this. So sweetness, 96 speed, 97 acceleration, 98 agility, 95 carrying, 80 catching, 95 looseness, 97 trucking, and I never tackle. So let's compare. Who's going to be faster? Once you power up Walter Payton, he's faster. Now, unless you have John Madden, he actually actually will be faster than Saquon by one speed. But let's say they both get 79. Their excels are the same, except powered up. Walter will get to 99. Saquon gets to 98. Agility is going to be the same when they're powered up. Carrying is going to be the same when they're powered up. And chemmed up 99. Catching's actually the same as well. Powered up, they're going to both be 81s. Elusiveness is slightly better. Trucking is where it gets way better. Now, here's where it gets interesting, guys. If Walter Payton has plus 9 trucking on Saquon, he's going to get 99. Powered up and chemmed up. 
What was the difference between Golden Ticket, Bo Jackson, and Saquon Barkley? It was just a plus 10 truck for the most part. So, Walter Payton and 86 Strength. Walter Payton is essentially a budgeter, a budget version of Bo Jackson. So, I'm actually a really big advocate for this brand new Walter Payton card. I honestly think he's really, really, really great in my opinion. If I were you guys, I recommend you pick him up. Gonna be super solid. Obviously, you gotta look into trades, and a lot of you guys like to see trades and do all that stuff. So if you wanna see his trades, go on over to Mudhead, check them all out. But in my opinion, I think Walter Payton's going to be a scoop for me at some point. Always been a big fan of Walter Payton as well. So it really doesn't, it's not too hard for me to make that decision. He's one of those like Madden OGs. He's always been a legend in this game, like for the longest time. So he's always been around since back since I think even, yeah, even Madden 13, one of the first Ultimate teams, I believe it was the second. He was definitely around kicking it. Jesse Tuggle LTD is up on the block. Not really a fan of the card art, to be honest. Ultimate Legend card art has seemed like okay to me this year. But 92 speed, 92 excel, 91 strength, 99 tackle, 96 play rec, 96 block shed, 96 hit power, and 74 zone coverage. Now, overall, this card looks this card looks good. I mean, again, I wish cards were a little faster. He obviously blows away in strength, tackle, play rec, block shed, and hit power. Like, he's going to be the ultimate linebacker right now. But that speed, like, I just feel like we need slightly more speed at linebacker. Like, 92 speed is not cutting it. I want at least a 94. Once the linebacker is 94 speed, I don't give a hell, I don't give, I don't, I don't give a crap anymore. Because 94 speed means 95 powered up, and then 98 with John Madden Sprinter. That's close enough to me. Like, for a user linebacker, as long as I'm above a 96 speed, he's going to get the job done. Maybe they're trying to avoid people getting glitchy with it. Very possible, but I think it's time we make a move on from, from them personally. Now, let's get over to Lawrence Taylor and check out his card base stock and see his price. He's going for 1 million coins. Yeah, I saw that happening. The LTD is actually cheaper than him. So stock, he's 92 speed, 95 excel, 93 strength, 94 tackle, 93 play rec, 95 block shit, 98 power move, 97 finesse move. Just like I told you guys, this car was always going to be super fast and going to have maxed up um, rushing ability. Like, that was just a given. He's six foot three guys with a 95 speed, which actually is going to make him one of the fastest user linebackers in Madden 20. So you could honestly use him at time to time if you really wanted to. Obviously, there's nothing to compare to here because I already have him powered up. But guys, it's LT is a monster i highly recommend now if you guys want some defensive tips with him personally for me you could either run a big nickel like over g and just have two outside linebackers on the edge or what i like to run is a, i run a three four odd like a, a pinch buck if you guys want, okay if you want to rush one linebacker just run any three four play any three four plays gonna have one of them rushing you could always switch the play to make sure it's lawrence taylor rushing now that's if you want to do it that way you can also line up by play side by strong side whatever you want to do there now another way to get them both rushing is pinch buck two zone pinch buck blitz pitch buck cover two blitz and pitch buck cover three blitz both those plays are going to allow you to have both your outside linebackers on the edge which means that if you're like lawrence taylor and von miller they'll both be rushing as edge rushers and your edge rushers will come into the middle in like a three set so it'll be five guys along the line two outside linebackers um usually an end and end in a defensive tackle so you can do some formation subs when you get into the game set it up the way you want it but that is a way to get them both rushing and with the five man front like that against another probably five man front you're probably gonna get a lot of sheds with lawrence taylor as far as abilities go on him guys that's very it's up to you like if you can't stand the run maybe you go with a you go run stopper maybe inside stuff whatever you want to go if you can't stand if you get past on all day maybe you go all across passing it all depends on the way people play against you what are your weak points if you're a weak run stopper you gotta get some run abilities if you're a weak pass stuffer or pass uh, stopper you go with passing abilities it always comes down to personnel who you got in your team and how you play personally now for me get for me guys to rank them today so Coming in number three, actually coming in number one, Lawrence Taylor. Far and away, too fast, too crazy to not be number one. He is, he's amazing. Lawrence Taylor is solid. Highly recommend you guys pick him up. I recommend you use your power pass though. Next on the list, coming in number two is going to be Sweetness Walter Payton. Like I said, guys, that card is pretty, why is he 900K? Was he, was he that expensive? I could have swore he was 600K. Maybe not. All right. Sweetness is pretty much Barry Sanders, but it's, I mean, sorry, a budget Bo Jackson, Bo Jackson golden ticket. It's very, very close, guys. Like, it's it's super close. Big fan of that Walter Payton car. Gonna scoop it up at some point. And then number three is gonna be Jesse Tuggle. Don't get me wrong, Jesse Tuggle's great. Nothing wrong with him, but he is LTD for starters, which means he's gonna be super expensive for a while. So, pass. I could use my power pass, but I already used it on Lawrence Taylor, or I'd use it on Randy Moss, so pass. And guys, we've been getting a lot of 92 speed, 91 speed linebackers lately. We're gonna break through that barrier pretty soon, and it clearly wasn't him. So it's probably gonna be like an ultimate legend. Like, I don't know what could come next at ultimate legend. That could be a great linebacker that we're gonna be getting soon. I can't think. I know I'm missing on someone, but we're gonna be getting something that breaks through that barrier of that 90 low 90 speed range. So when that comes, I will go for that guy. But for the time being, I'm going to rock with what I got. But guys, better for the video. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you're new to the channel, make sure to below, hit that subscribe button, turn the notification boys. Enjoy the family. Give this video a big thumbs up as always. If you haven't already, comment down below. I'm out. Peace.